All three Red Alliance robots moving forward. All three Blue Alliance robots moving forward. Team 1450 accidentally launching a power cube out of the arena. However, the Blue Alliance successfully places theirs in the switch, and that'll get them a lead as well as a rank point as the students step up to the controls. Team 5030 and their robot Atlas has a power cube in possession. As does 2544 on the other side of the arena. However, they attract a penalty for contact with the scale. 56 to 21, Blue Alliance holding on so far. Nobody in control of their own switch or the scale. So scoring currently is at a standstill. Who blinks first remains to be seen. On the blue side of the field, XQ Robotics, the Red Alliance robot, is setting power cubes into the switch of the Blue Alliance, further holding back the Blue Alliance from scoring. 70 seconds left to go in the match, 61 to 21, your score so far. This has to be one of the slowest scoring games we've seen thus far at this event. A testament to the defense of both alliances. However, it looks like Team 72-51, the rookie team out of Salamanca High School, is the one to break the scoring first, and now the Blue Alliance is on the scoreboard as we head into the last 10 seconds before the end game period. 76 to 45, Red Alliance also has control of their own switch. Oh no, and it looks like 38-38's Robot Murphy's Law missed the hook and will not be able to make that climb. 20 seconds left to go in the match. 91 to 64, Red Alliance looking to cut that lead down as they utilize their boost power up. And now they jump in the lead, 10 seconds left to go. Their switch is now gaining two points per second. 113 to 103, five seconds left to go in the match. They are using their levitate power up and their force power up. My goodness, what a close match we just witnessed here at the Finger Lakes Regional. Then here it comes. It's the Red Alliance. 126 to 125. One point determined this match. Very slow scoring until the end.